Hi there, your computer friend Connie here. Let's talk about password protection in Microsoft OneNote. So you might want to password protect your notebook because you're sharing it with other people, or maybe you just want to password protect your notebook even though it's only for yourself because not just in case it ends up that someone else is working on your computer or on your device that has the notebook. Uh, you want to be safe that that area is protected. So I want to start by saying that Typically, the only thing you can password protect in Microsoft OneNote at this time is a section. You can't password protect the notebook as a whole. You can't password protect a page. You password protect a section, an area of your notebook. So right now I'm in a notebook called Project MC and I'm in the section called the 365 Learning Hub. So let's password protect this section. So I'm clicked on the section. I'm gonna right click on it and go to password protect the section. And as you can see, I have a panel on the right side that's opened up for me so that I can set my password. And it's also letting me know of a shortcut I can use if I want to lock uh, this particular section really quickly. Otherwise, there is some options that I'll go into to show you what the timing for a password protection is in your notebook. And by the way, it is telling us that, you know, once you set a password in your OneNote, there is no email that can be sent to you to unlock that password. You have to make sure you remember this password that you create. So write it down somewhere, somewhere safe that uh, you can look it up if you need to. But uh, Microsoft's not going to help you unlock this section for you if you forget the password in the future. So, so make sure you have it recorded well. So let's click on set password and it wants me to enter my password and of course confirm it. And there's our caution that, that tells us that it can't recover it for us. So I'm just going to choose OK. Now it does give us another warning that it says, in my case, I'm having it back up my notebooks for me. And so it's telling me that there is a backup already. So someone could get into that backup is what it's forewarning. So do I want to delete that existing backup because it's not password protected and just know that future ones will be or or what? What do I want to do? So I'll say delete it. Okay, so now the password is in place. It's telling me on the right hand side here that this, the, the section is password protected. Now, if you use OneNote on more than just your computer, if you're using it on your phone or a tablet, just know that the password protection will also be on those devices. And uh, as well, we can set up password protection on those devices. So I'll show you a quick example of that before we're done this video. Now I set up the password. I'm in the section that I password protected. So in order for me to see the password really in place, I need to lock it and go out of this area. So I'm going to just lock it. So just choose the lock all from button here on the right because it's because that's the section I want to lock. Or uh, by the way, I could just say lock all and it'll lock all the sections that I have password protected if there's more than one of them. So I'll just choose lock all. Now that I've locked this section, you can see it's telling me the section is protected. If I click to a different se section, I can certainly look at that section because it's not protected. And now if I click back on that 365 Learning Hub. It's telling me it's locked. So let's go about unlocking it. All we need to do is either click in the section or press the enter key. I will hit the enter key and it pops up asking me to enter in my password. So let me do that. And once I enter my password correctly and click on OK, it let me into this section again. Now while I'm working in this section, it won't lock it. But if I'm not working on it for some period of time, it will lock it automatically. So let me show you where that setting is that tells it what amount of time to give you before it starts locking it if you're not working in the section. And that means you've left the, maybe the screen is open, this page is open, but nothing's happening on it. So it's wondering if you're there or not. So you're going to go on in the password protection column there on the right. You're going to go to the bottom where it says password options. Click on that. You'll notice it put us in the advanced options area. We're going to scroll down to where it says password. And that's where we see that it says five minutes is the amount of time it's giving us before it locks it for us. So if nothing's happening in five minutes, it will lock it. We can click on that drop down and change it to one minute or even make it longer if we wish to. Okay, I want to choose OK to get out of there. And then if for some reason you decide you don't want the password on this section anymore at all, also notice the button on the right hand side of your screen under password protection is remove password. So if you don't have this, this panel on the right side open with password protection, I'm going to just close it. 
you're going to right click on that section that you have password protected. You're going to go to password protect the section. And in this case, it's already password protected. So we're not really doing that. But let's say we want to remove that password. If I click on remove, it then wants the password in order for it to allow us to remove it. So let me put the password in here and choose OK. And now you'll see on the right hand side, it says set password. So actually the password is now removed from the section. It's no longer password protected. Now I also wanted to show you how to do this on a tablet or from your iPhone. My example is going to be from a tablet, but the same kind of buttons or options are available from your iPhone as well. So let's switch over to that. All right. I am in my OneNote notebook on my iPad and you can see that the Project MC notebook has a locked section for the 365 learning. And so if I choose to go to that section, then what happens is I'm asked to put in the password and my iPad has fingerprint recognition for unlock. So it's giving me that as well. So I'll put my password in. And once I have the password in correctly, I can choose to unlock with my fingerprint next time. And by the way, on my phone, it's pretty much the same idea, except for my phone will actually allow me to unlock with my face. So it'll give us that prompt too. So I'll choose unlock at the top here. And there you see, I'm in the same notebook. Now let's look at how I can lock a notebook section from my iPad. So same idea will be available to me from my iPhone as well. So I'm just going to go out of this section and let's say the info session is something that I want to lock. Right now you can see the section is not locked. So I'm going to go actually back to the section. I'm in the pages right now. I'm going to go back to where I can see the section easily on my iPad. And what I'm going to do is just hold down on that section. So where it says info session, just hold down on that. And when I hold down on it, I see that that section becomes checkmarked. And at the bottom of that area, I have a little lock. And by the way, this is how it would work and appear on my phone as well. I'd hold down on that section on my phone and I'd see the lock at the bottom. So let's choose the lock and it says protect the section. So I'll choose that. And now it wants a password again. So this is a good warning for you to see. I am using the same notebooks on many different devices. And so what that means is it's trying to synchronize my notebook with those devices, but also of course with the cloud that those notebooks are stored on. So whether that be OneNote or SharePoint. So it's syncing in the process of syncing this notebook and they won't let me do the password protection at this moment. So I'm just gonna choose okay. And I'm gonna cancel out of here. Rather than waiting for that section to sync, I thought I'm just gonna jump over to another notebook and show you how this actually works. So I'm going on the classroom notebook this time. I'm on example files is the section I'm gonna lock. Just going to hold down that section name and you see the lock at the bottom. I'm going to choose that, protect the section, type in my password and done. All right. So you see when I move off of that section on my iPad, you see there is in fact a lock beside it. And if I were to choose that section, because I just locked it, it's giving me the five minutes to go still go into it. But remember that with, if I'm not in that section or it's over the five minutes, it's going to lock it. So I'll have to put the password in. All right, so there you have it. How to lock a section in your OneNote, whether you're on your desktop or you're on one of your mobile devices. Give that a try. Thanks. Bye-bye.